body and it goes absolutely positively super d duper <laughs> right it's great to be outside it's been raining for two days so we couldn't come outside but it's finally stopped <laughs>
Jason? Well, I thought it was you. Jason was telling a scary story. Well, it wasn't too scary, but we didn't know it was you bumping into things in the dark. And tripping over tails. Oh, I didn't mean to scare anybody, but why did you have the lights out? We were making up stories while we're waiting for the rain to stop. Oh, that sounds like fun! On rainy days at home, Ward and I played the with the blanket. How do you do that, Carlos? We make believe it's lots of different things, like a raft on the ocean. Ah, uh, but we don't have a blanket. I know, but we could use our imagination and make up stories that use the parachute in different ways. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have an idea ready. May I go first? Oh, okay. okay, I'll be right back. Oh, <laughs> I wonder what Tasha's going to do with a parachute. Well, if she uses her imagination, there are a number of things she could do. Number? Did I hear someone say number? Oh. Wow. Wow. Wait, that reminds me of a story about a very lonely little number. Oh, oh, why, it's Stella. I, I mean, Tasha, the storyteller. <laughs> Jumbo. Uh -huh. That means hello in Swahili. Oh. Jumbo. Jumbo.
After the yarn was dry, Charlie put the strands on the loom. What is that now? And every fall evening, <laughs> wove the yarn into cloth. Charlie put the cloth on the table and cut it into pieces. Then he pinned the pieces together and sewed them. <laughs> And then when winter came, <laughs> Charlie had a beautiful new red cloak. <laughs> I really like your story, Tom. Uh, you. <laughs> Me too. I never knew you could make clothes out of sheep's wool. Yeah, right. The little mouse that was taking something on every day. <laughs> could you show us how to draw her? I sure could. Oh, oh, good. Yeah. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> I'm going to start off with two sort of circles. <laughs> Almost circles. There's one. And there's another. Aha, uh -huh, you know what that is. And I'm going to put some inside of ears here. And I'm going to make two little dots like this. With a little white space in them. For our little mouse's eyes. Yeah. I'm going to connect these two ears. And make a shape like this with a little point on the bottom of it. Now, you know, the mice have whiskers just like cats. Because they need them to see if they can get into the holes, the little holes they make or not. Now, another big circle like this. Big circle shape like that. Sound like that. Now, what should I do next? Tail. Right, okay. So, let's give this mouse a nice, big tail like this. Okay. There we go. And some little paws like that. Now let's put some color on here. I'm going to put a pink, pink ears. Oh, yeah. oh, I love pink ears. I like rabbits with pink ears and mice with pink ears. And a little pink nose. And I'm going to put something here. See if you can guess what it is. What do, I, what do mice eat? Cheese. Cheese. And let's make it Swiss cheese. So put some holes in it like that. Okay, I finished that drawing. And what do I have to do now that I finish it? Sign your name. Sign my name. Right, and I have a trademark. Do you know what it is, Barney? Oh, a trademark? Oh, it's a hard. Right, right. I always draw a heart <laughs> like that. And then I write my name. T-O-M-I-E, Tommy. Oh. See how easy it is to draw a mouse? Now you can draw one yourself. Oh, that's great. Oh, we've been making up stories all day, Tommy. It's fun. That's great, BJ, because that's because you've been using your imaginations to pretend. And I use my imagination every time I make up a new story and draw pictures for it. Oh, we like using our imaginations too, Tommy. Oh. Great, Barney. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm afraid I'm going to have to go. I promised that I'd deliver this book to the library today. Oh. Um, and Barney, thank you for helping me get my sheep back in the book. Oh, and thank you for reading your book to us, Tommy. Oh, you're welcome, Barney. <laughs> well, goodbye, everybody. And so see you again, I hope. Well, bye. 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 See you soon. Bye. Bye. Has anyone seen BJ? Who is supposed to tell the next story? Ooh. Hey, everybody! Look what I just made with a parachute! Ooh. Wow, a big umbrella! Come on, we'll go outside and play! Because this umbrella is big enough for a dinosaur and all its friends! Okay! Alright, bye bye! Yeah. My, isn't this cozy? is quite big enough for all your friends. Oops. <laughs> you would get kind of wet, wouldn't you, Barney? So? Uh, I guess my umbrella isn't big enough for everybody after all. Uh -oh.